guys. Welcome to A League of Her Own. I'm going to rip some cards tonight. Um, I ripped some cards earlier today. Got some good stuff. Posted some videos. Check it out. I'm doing good right now. Drinking a little wine. Saturday night, I'm chilling out. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says vintage. What else does it say? Limited edition 1980. That was the year I was born. Aged to perfection. Mm. All right. I got some cards to open tonight. I got a little bit of 2021 Series 1. 2020 Tops Heritage. Um, that's not high number. That's the This is the original one that came out earlier in, in 2020. And I've got some 2020 Tops Chrome update um and i also have something i picked up on ebay i'm really excited about so if all else fails i'm going to save that for last because i already know that's awesome um but anyways let's get to it and i hope you like my goodies in the background here that's some of my favorite cards back there uh fernando tatis jr uh, Tops 2019 Series 2. I believe that's Series 2. Yeah, it's Series 2. Um, this is an awesome card right now. I love it. I picked this up a while ago in Gem Mint 10. I got a screaming deal on it, especially compared to what it's going, on, uh, going at now. I got my Bowman's Best Jason Dominguez pull I got freaking awesome i freaked out when i got that um i did order a couple of project 2020 cards this year just a couple i wasn't i wasn't too hyped about them and then they went all crazy during um you know this past season so i did pick up i have a ricky henderson i picked up one ricky henderson one and one mark mcguire one and that big mac one i just thought was kind of cool and then i also have a ramon lariano rookie card chrome prism refractor that I pulled myself and I sent in to get graded myself and that came back as a 10. So pretty excited about that. So make sure my camera's nice and straight here. Make sure that I'm good to go. Let's open some cards. I've opened a ton of the 2021 series one already. Let's, um, let's just get that going first. See if we got anything awesome here. All right. Marcel Ozuna right on the top there. Anthony Santander, Hunty, Hunter Harvey, Danny Mendek, Mike Clevenger. I hope he's back this year. Look at that hair. This guy is a pitching beast. Um, the Padres are going to definitely be a team to watch this year. Sean Manaya, Chapman, Locaine, Jonathan D Dia Daza. Daza, Jonathan Daza, Kyle Lewis. Ooh, we got some 52s in here. Didn't realize that. It's a nice Jordan Alvarez. And we have a U Darvish on the Padres this year as well. Gonna be, it's gonna be scary. Oh, another. Oh no, this is Ryan Yarbrough. I thought it was Blake Snell. There we go. Blake Snell's on, on the Padres now, too. So they, they beefed up on some pitching. It's going to be awesome. All right, team cards. Diamondbacks. Pirates. God, they suck. And Ryan Brazier. It's kind of an interesting card. Like the offset. I don't know of him looking, looking off yonder. All right. I think my favorite card in that pack was the... Jordan Alvarez, 52. This guy's a beast. A hitting home run machine. All right. Next pack. Right to it. Okay. Those Padres I was talking about. Mitch Moreland. There we go. Number one player in baseball right now. The GOAT. Mike Trout. Filthy, nasty pitcher, Shane Bieber. What do we got here? Another good pitcher, Matthew Boyd, Luke Voigt. Liam Hendricks, I really wish you were still on the A's. He's on the White Sox now. This guy is crazy good relief pitcher. Colin Moran, 
Kenta Maeda, 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 whatever. Uh, Omar, if I pronounce your name incorrectly, I apologize. My bad. Omar Navarez. Ooh, nice. Very, very nice. 1986 style Jackie Robinson. I like those. And, oh, in the 1952, Ronald Acuna Jr. Really fun guy to watch. He's awesome. Good player. Hits well. Fields well. Fun to watch. All right. We got Albert Pujols. We got Robert Azuna. Blake Taylor, rookie. Giants walk off a part. Just a team card. And a Josh Bell. And Josh Bell went to the Nationals, I believe. Yes, went to the Nationals. He's going to be an awesome addition to that team. They're hoping to uh, come back, be contenders this year. They weren't last year, but obviously the year before they won the World Series. So hopefully they're, you know, back in the playoffs, tearing it up. All right, Shane Bieber, Matt Followix, he's a good pitcher. Just can't pronounce your name right now. I apologize. Ian Hap. Johnny, wow, Joey Votto, apologies, apologies, oh, there's a nice yard on Alvarez, uh, base card there, Brandon Crawford, Chris Paddock, Steve Matz, oh, we got a flipped over card coming, Mike, uh, Mark Canna, all right, Isaac, this is going to be a gold, I'm excited for any gold card I get this year, because they are, they're a lot harder to get. You might see me say that in other videos. Um, they printed a lot more 2021 Top Series 1 this year. Like, their print one was higher. But, obviously, the gold, you, you know, because they they base it off the year. Every, it's 2021, so they only print 2021 gold cards of each player. So, they are a lot harder to come by this year. Doing pretty well on those. There's a nice Mookie Betts 52 style. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, nice card. Dansby Swanson, Justice Sheffield, Kevin Biggio, and a team card of the Orioles. All right, moving along. Some nice cards in the in the series one, but I've opened a lot of it lately, so I'm excited to open some other stuff. I'm gonna t save the Chrome for last because I think that's like the best stuff so just got a couple packs of heritage here Let's see if we can get any nice little rookies all the rookies in the top tops heritage base rookies are double card double player rookies so there's going to be two players unless it's a, unless you pull an auto of that player you get a real one auto it's just a single player so um, hopefully I at least get one in here and show you what I mean. All right, we got Evan Longoria, Xander Bogarts. All right, like example here, this is a nice Kyle Lewis, Austin Nola, Justin Dunn. So this is a card with three rookies on it. This is nice, nice Kyle Lewis uh, rookie. This is awesome, but usually there's uh, the other rookies. There's going to be a, a player up top and a player on the bottom here, but that is a good pull right there. All right, we got Clint Frazier, Jack Flattery, Cole, mm, no, Pirates, you suck anyway, so it's fine. Brad Keller, what the hell happened to this back card? Look at that. God, anyways. All right, uh, where was I? Brad Keller, Brad Hand, Austin Hedges, you got dinged up. So uh, with Topps Heritage cards, um, I always look at the back. And anything over, I think it's 500, I believe, is a short print. Um, but I think our hit out of that pack is going to be that Rookie Stars card. These are super hard to keep nice easier because of the black, but this is a pretty nice card. Get that sleeved up here shortly. So we got one more of these. Let's see how this pack works out here all right okay strikeout leaders Jacob DeGrom Steven Strasburg and Mike Scherzer Max Scherzer good lord 
uh, Renardo Lopez, Nico Goodrum, Dakota Hudson. One of these flashback cards. So that's that's fun. Okay. Uh, Robinson Cano couldn't give up on the steroids, unfortunately. Nunez, Lucishi, and Zach Plezak. I don't think we got any. I think our like special card out of that was that insert, that flashback, flashback insert. So I don't think, yeah, we didn't get any short prints out of those. Okay. Kyle Lewis was the winner out of that one there. All right. Let's get to these value packs. The cool thing about these are the pink parallel cards. So you're guaranteed parallel cards, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to open both of these up because I'm going to save the parallels for last. Okay. Parallels. Parallels. All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I don't know that guy. Nope. Rookie card of... <laughs> I am not going to say your name right now. I, I apologize. There's no way. Yasmani Grandel. I did good on that one. All right. Logan Morrison and this other rookie. I, I hope for just nothing but great things for you guys. I hope you all do well. All right. Moving on. There. It's going to be a rookie debut. That's good stuff. All right. Cole Calhoun. Very nice. Oh, yeah. I love these inserts. The Decades Next. Brendan McKay. He's kind of like a showy Otani. He's a really good pitcher, and he's got a good, uh, good bat, too. He can hit well, so love these inserts. All right. Nice Brock Holt. And there's that Kyle Lewis rookie debut card. So... I'm not sure if they do this in basketball and football. Maybe y'all can let me know in the comments. But um, in our in like tops update comes out at the end of the year or, or you know Chrome update here. The they always usually have the rookie debut cards. They're not worth as they're not valued as high as the regular rookie cards. But I still like them. You know, a lot of people still like them. They're just you know another rookie card. Not like they're stand. You know they're first rookie card by any means or they're more or they're more sought out after a uh, rookie card <sighs> okay but i digress joey botto nice nick solak rookie debut card buster posey nice glare on these cards sorry about that guys so nick solak Buster Posey, nice Mike Trout card. Always nice to pull a Trout. And the Joey Votto. Okay, and all right, we got more to open. I love it. Ooh, there's another one. When in doubt, pull a Trout. All right, Jonathan Villar. Got a nice Mike Schmidt, the numbers game insert. Those are such nice cards. Another Kyle Lewis. We'll take it all day long. And another Mike Trout. Same two that we pulled before. All right. Nice Aaron Judge on the back here. We got a David Price. We got... Yes! Yes! This is the rookie debut card you're going to want to pull. Um, you know, as far as base cards go. Um, Luis Robert, freaking amazing baseball player on the White Sox. So he started off really great on the White Sox. He ended kind of rough, uh, last season, but, uh, he's still looking good. Ama you know, five tool player. He can, he can, he can do it all when he's playing well. Last season was, you know, was weird for everybody. So hopefully he comes back just strong this season. I'm really excited to pull another one of these cards. Um, out of 20 
20 tops update chrome this is the rookie debut card you want to pull for whatever reason in regular tops update um they didn't put a rookie debut card of his in the regular tops update not the chrome and they did for everybody else so it was just weird so if you wanted a rookie debut card of Luis robert you had to get it out of the chrome so different fun whatever it's cool you know tops you do you all right, Joey Votto and Aaron Judge, Home Run Derby card. Obviously, they didn't have a Home Run Derby last year. So in the update series, for all of you that don't know, they did they went back to like previous winners, previous players in, in like uh, Home Run Derbies and All-Star Games, and they put those into this year's update. So very weird, very weird, strange strange year for like they don't ever you know obviously that's not something they normally do but it was a weird year so like here all-star game andrew mccutcheon who hasn't been on the pirates for a while but you know that's that's how they did these cards all right and another one of these nice uh decades next this is a walker bueller another filthy filthy pitcher on the dodgers i don't know is there a pitcher i can't even think of a pitcher on the dodgers that's not filthy Anyways, we got Aristido Sacchino, rookie debut, and Nick Turley, Pirates. So sorry you're on the Pirates, bud. Actually, it might be good that you're on the Pirates because the Pirates trade away all their really good players. So that's probably what will happen to you if you're really good. All right, last but not least, the Pink Parallels. Very, very excited. Oh, I love that they put this little blocker in the back. I have no idea what I'm about to get. Boom. Aristides Kino rookie debut card. That's very nice. What do we got back here? Oh, my God. I shouldn't have talked smack about him. Karma got me right there, guys. I said if you're good, you'll get traded. I don't know why you gotta, why you gotta be so... Sorry. Okay, anyways. Look at how pretty those cards are. I like Aristides. I hope he comes back and does well. Um, this guy's rookie card when it first came out, people were, were hot on him, but they like he didn't come up like last season. He started off really good, twenty nineteen when he came up for a little bit, and then uh, twenty twenty he played for a little bit. And they brought him back down because like the position he played, there was the Reds had a lot of good players, but anyways. Um, Hope he does well because I got a lot of his rookie cards and he he did look really good there for a minute. But anyways, moving on. Last pack. Oh nope, that I still have my eBay card here. But last pack that I'm ripping open. All right and boom, Buster Posey. Not bad and Glaber Torres. Not bad at all either. You know, future probably future Hall, Hall of Famer for the San, uh, San Francisco Giants catcher, and Glaber Torres. We're hoping, we're hoping you can be not injured this year and doing wonderful things on the Yankees. I know my dad and my sister are. All right. Last but not least, eBay order. And you like my little job here, covering up, covering up the addresses. I don't want you coming to my house. I want you sending me stuff. I know the guy that sent this to me doesn't want that either. So, so excited about this card. So, one of my favorite uh, uh, cards to open up is uh, uh, Triple Threads. Um, 2020 Triple Threads was the first Triple Threads box I ever opened in previous years. I, it's an expensive box, but I splurged on it this year because I love the cards. And, um, mostly the card, all the cards I got, I did keep one or two, but they were all teams and players that I, you know, that are awesome, but they're just not my favorite. So I had a lot of them for sale that I sold or they're on eBay still, stuff like that. So I bought one team for, uh, you know, an A's one here. Oh, this guy gave me some extra cards too. How awesome is that? That's a refractor Matt Olson right there. I love it. That's when I when you guys buy from me on from my eBay store, I always put in extra cards and I always try to put like decent stuff in there or I can tell that it's like your team and stuff like that. Try to put good stuff in there. So, when people do that to me, too, like I love it. That's awesome. 
All right. Back to the cards. Nice refractor of Matt Olson. I feel like there's two cards here. Did he put more than one in a... Yeah, he did. Did you guys see what I got already? Oh, it's flipped backwards, so that's cool. So, yeah. Boom. Refractor. Very nice. What do we got here? A.J. Griffin, rookie pitcher. Don't remember him. Oh, Steven Piscotti. He's not on the A's anymore. I think he's on the Cardinals now. Um, but I he was a good player. really liked him. All right. So as you can see here, I got me a little Matt Chapman card. Boom. Look at that. 33 out of 36. I love, as far as relics go, Triple Threads has it, has it down. They make really nice uh, relic cards. And I got this for a steal. This card is beautiful. We well, should do it here. If you're going to put tape on them, you should use painter's tape. So I'm just going to pull that off of there. There we go. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging with me to tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. Um, I posted some more videos. I'm posting more videos. I got a, a box of... Uh, 2019 Donruss that I purchased just to change it up a little bit try to get some rookies out of that and um, I got more stuff coming I ordered a ton of the tins the 2021 tins I, you know they keep pushing back the date on those so hopefully we'll open those soon and, um, yeah keep on ripping have a great day thanks for watching